Hi, Pisces. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I was facing the wrong way. A realization. That's interesting. Reaching out passion. We're going to clarify that right now. Okay, under the desk is a, under the desk. Someone under the desk right now. A masculine that no one compares to. Unexpected, unfinished business. Afraid, though, of chasing. Perspective, the runner. Ch oh my gosh, divine timing, coffee. Yeah, there's something. That's why I wanted to do realization. I'll, I'll tell you why. Okay, hang on. So it came out. It was obviously in the deck flipped around. So it came out like this. That tells me someone maybe hasn't had this realization yet or they're trying to hide it. Reaching out in passion with the other two I pulled. But what is this realization that someone is having? What is this realization? Someone could be realizing they're in love with you. Someone could realize that they want a new beginning with you. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Coin came out. Maybe an earth sign doesn't need to be possibly a an apology page of coin in this deck someone may be well let's go to this what i saw under here because under the deck was the mass and energy no one compares and they're probably feeling like you're one of a kind no one compares to you they feel like there's unfinished business though and this is unexpected hang on fear unexpected fear unexpected because they don't want to see they don't want to look like they're chasing you pisces they don't they're the runner. And that's what I just saw under the deck. So what's this unexpected? Nine of Pentacles. This is how they view you. Yeah, it's one of a kind. Nine of Coins. Two of Cups. How do they view you? It's unexpected. What is this? The Ten of Pentacles. Are you kidding? So someone sees you as the whole package. You have everything they have ever wanted and wished for. So... They may be afraid that they lost you, but let me keep going here. Because I think they're afraid of being the chaser because the perspective is that they're the runner and you're chasing them usually. It's kind of what I'm getting here. The runner, because we got chaser here twice. Divine timing. Wanting to sit down and have a drink with you or have coffee or go on a date. This could be someone who has never really wanted to be in a relationship, who maybe is falling in love unexpectedly, possibly. But, okay. Yeah, they don't want you to know that they're, they fear chasing. Show me what that means, show me. Seven of Swords, they play their cards close to their vest. They don't want you to think they want you, or they don't want you to know that they want you. They like to play it coy, play the games. But they want to chase you. Show me the chaser. Chaser energy. Ten of Cups. They want the Ten of Cups with you. They want the Four of Wands with you. We got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Coins, the Two of Cups. Wow. So what do you see this person doing? Can you tell me right now with this deck? You. They're going to do you. They're going to come after you. Can you be a little bit you know, more specific? Letting something go. Making a decision, I went to Nine of Cups. Yeah, you make them happy, the moon. So they could be reaching out, Page of Wands, the moon. They're letting something else go or whatever they have or had to be with you. They're realizing now that you make them truly happy. You are everything that they want, your wish fulfillment. Uh, what do they want to say to you with this deck? I sabotaged our connection because it was too intense. So now remember, let me put this in perspective because it's, I have to for myself. This is someone who wants you so bad, but they are running from this connection. So you may have given up on them. You may have, you know, may not even really like them that much, but they want to come towards you now. They want to chase you or actually they want to come towards you, but they don't want to have to chase or look like they're chasing. They don't want to look desperate, but they actually are. They're realizing that you are everything they want in a partner. What else do they want to say to you? I'm scared you'll reject me. I keep hoping to bump into you everywhere I go. I really do care even though I don't show it. Yeah, this is Seven of Swords. That's this right here. And one more. I know that we have a soul connection. All right. 
It does say they're on their way to you under the deck. Okay, so Spirit, show me like a sabotage over here. What do they do? Show me some of the sabotage of the connection because it was too intense. Fool, so they just took off. They did something foolish. They started, you know, off on their own. What else? Manifested. Hanged man. Something else or someone else? This could be them realizing their mistake and coming back towards you. But let me see, Hank, man, seeing something differently. This could be an earth sign who is hoping for you, is wishing for this new love, wanting to move on. Or they did want to move on. They want to come back to you now. I think they're wishing for you. What is this temperance energy? Nine of cups and the justice card. Okay. Nine of coins. I have an offer for you. One more, please. Two of wands and one more. I feel like there's a nice energy between the two of you. I don't know why I get like the Knight of Cut coin and the Page of Cups being just a sweet exchange between the two of you. Something just very low key. For somebody viewing, this may be someone who was on vacation or away from you for a while. It may not be quite as intense as this reading is making it out to be. It could be something where you guys barely even got to know each other. You guys are coming back together. They're gonna ask you out. Um, so take it as it resonates now for some of you you guys were in some sort of committed relationship and they just bailed they were saying it was just too intense they're coming to the realization that the nine of cups like i already said and it's right here it's showing like this is where that card you know is flipped down but all, all all of a sudden they wake up one day and say oh my gosh pisces is my person pisces is it how do you see things going in the future judgment that's coming back around the seven of swords the seven of coins the two of swords and the queen of swords okay ace of swords is under the deck we got two sevens today is actually the seventh of june but they pissed you off this person's a little oblivious to me the two of swords is like not noticing not seeing that maybe they've made you a little angry with the queen of swords energy but the thing I don't like is that they're kind of coming back in with this energy of like, I don't want to say game playing, but it is an energy of like, okay, we'll just come back in and we'll see where things are at and how things go. And I'm glad you saw this reading because there's more going on here with this person than you realize. I mean, the cards that came out were phenomenal. Two of cups, eight, 10 of coins, 10 of cups, what they really want. But we already saw that this person is a player. They are a runner. They want you to chase them. They may do a little chasing here or there to keep the game interesting, but um, for the most part, they don't want to look needy or desperate. This again, may be someone that you just are just very floored when they reach out to you. You find that this is very unexpected, but the timing is now, this is meant to happen. And it's telling me it's going to happen very, very soon because of um, the numbers coming up in the reading. What does Pisces need to know? Growth. Be a phase of growth, number 44. Focus on your power. You're drawing them in. There's something here about, yeah, you don't need to chase. They need to chase you. You are drawing them in. Maybe in the past you have, but with this person you don't need to. What is the message here for Pisces? What else is going on? You guys have a soul tie. Okay, let's get some advice for you for this person. It says law of attraction. You've been manifesting this relationship. Everything you want will be yours soon. So this is a connection you've been wanting. This is you focusing your power on this soul tie, this connection, this person coming back to you or coming to you. What else does Pisces need to know? Pay attention to the signs. The, the synchronicities you have been noticing are not coincidence. Over these two keep coming out. And I mean it's I mean it's not a huge deck, but overthinking. Don't play negative scenarios over in your head. It's going to create an issue where there's nothing there. 
Let me do one more for you because both of these came out in other readings. So one more for Pisces. Let go of the need to control. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And the separation you're experiencing is necessary to help the relationship grow. So again, we've got growth here and growing. So this is manifesting in different ways for different people because I can tell by the cards coming out. Some of them don't really match, but it's all the same like underlying story that's unfolding for you, Pisces. It's just coming in differently for different people. Uh, what something else this person wants to say to you? I feel so drawn to you. So someone like they need to be with you. So I'm getting the image of someone, it's a masculine energy who is not sure why they feel so tied to you. And it's that soul tie and why they're coming back towards you and why they want to chase you. And maybe they're not using the term chase. They're you're using the term drawn to you, wanting to be with you, not understanding why this is so powerful and why they want to focus on you. They are hoping to see you and bump into you. Um, even if you guys don't live near each other maybe they're hoping like you might happen to be in the area or something but again it could have been something very intense they've never experienced that type of energy they sabotaged it because again being next to you like your past life soulmates when you've been in uh, relationships before can be pretty you know intense pretty it's a strong connection so that may have thrown them they may have never experienced that type of love or those types of feelings what else does Pisces need to know. Let me go to this deck. Soul tie came out in this deck. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's crazy to me. That's like, not, not like a soul connection, not like a past life, not like a soulmate, a soul tie. Because both of these decks are new. This one I got off Etsy, and then this one I got, I don't remember where I got this, these, these are new. So I always feel connected to you. So you remember that? Remember the card that just said the signs and synchronicities that you're seeing are um, pay attention. That's one right there. That's amazing. I always feel connected to you with the soul tie. There may have been some disagreements maybe. That's under the deck. They may want to make things right. This is in the wrong deck. But I'm going to show you that. What else? What else does Pisces need to know? Holding back, so they should have expressed myself better. There's also a card facing the wrong way. I kind of want to see what it is. Space. Someone may need more time to think. What else? There may have been a third party, or th like it doesn't have to be a person, but something that got in the way. Soul contract. See, like I've seen this one before in other decks. It says the lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten and ego. Someone has a lot of ego, but you're irreplaceable. Wow. So they let my pride get in the way. All right. I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Have a great weekend.